So the objective in this video is to give you a bit of bending terminology and then uh, present to you typical stresses and strain distributions due to bending, okay? So let me start off by introducing a bit of terminology. Uh, first of all, we have positive bending moments, as we've seen previously, but these are positive bending moments due to bending, and it's this, um, obviously, because it's a bending moment, right? And then we have sagging. Since it's positive, sagging means we have tension at the top, uh, sorry, tension at the bottom and compression at the top. So if we have considered this slender eye section over here, as you can see this one, um, a typical stress distribution and strain distribution diagram, so this should be strain, excuse me, Okay, so this is a typical stress and strain distribution diagram. Um, notice a bit of properties. So this is the centroid over here. Centroid. At the centroid, we or, or in other words, the neutral axis, we always have zero strains and zero stresses. Okay, And because of the fact that we have tension at the bottom, stresses are known as positive. So are strains. They have positive values. Whereas at the top, because it's compression, stresses and strains have negative values, okay? So MPA only applies to stress, obviously, and strains are unitless. However, stress and strain diagrams look exactly the same. They're just linear distributions going from the neutral axis to the bottom and the neutral axis to the top, okay? So that's just positive bending moments, which are sagging. Next, and vice versa, we have negative bending moments, so hogging. Now, this is on the contrary. We have compression at the bottom and tension at the top just obviously so